Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Horn Exotics and um, we've got a big day today. We've got fish delivery, plant delivery and reptile delivery. So we've got a big day today for delivery. I don't know why everyone has to deliver at the same day. It makes my life so hard trying to do everything at once. But we can do it, we can do it, we, have, we can do it. But we've got no Meg today, still a poorly Meg. We've still got a poorly Meg. Didn't get enough love in the chat, that's what it was. And didn't get enough love to, to, to inspire her to get better. <laughs> but I uh, hope she feels better, Meg. Hope you feel better. Uh, so we're going to jump in, get all this stuff done. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And uh, thank you for everyone who did say we'll get well, Meg. I appreciate that. She works hard for me, she does. And um, so we'll, we'll get everything done. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. So the first thing we've had delivered is um, we've had the fish and we've had the plants. So these are the fish I would have chose that he missed off the other order a couple of weeks ago. So we'll have a look at these ones. Um, we get the plants out and all that stuff. We might have to do, I'm not sure which one's more important because the plants don't like being in the box for ages and the fish don't like being in the box for ages. But I don't think the plants will die as quick. So we do the fish first. Then we do the plants, and then hopefully the animals will have arrived by then, and then we can unbox the animals. Oh, it's hard work without Meg. Come on, Meg, hurry up and come back. Please, we need you, Meg. <laughs> so we've got the boxes. We're going to open them up, and I'm going to try not to sneeze. What have we got in the box? Do, 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 do. Going all the way around. Do, 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 do. Yeah. How much tape they put on? Oh, ha, ha. Not loads of fish, not loads, but we've got an empty bag. Oh, what's we got in here? Oh, hatchet fish. Look at them bad boys. A bit different, ain't they? So I find a tank to put them in. I think I'll put them in with the Ottos, I think. This tank normally says a bit lower because we put different types of fish in it. But uh, I think with these ones in, they, they float at the top, so I might keep it low so uh, you can see them from above as well. You should get cycled, mate. I'm going to turn the light off so you don't get stressed. Oh, I thought there was a popped bag then. I thought that was a popped one. Oh, I thought the fish was in it. I don't think there is. Who we got in here? Oh, the Cardinal. So they got the full red line. I believe, are they my neons? Well, we'll have to have a look on the bag. Who we got else in the box? Who else we got in the box? Oh, are these lamp eyes? These are lamp eyes. We love lamp eyes. So in the right light, they get a little glow above their eyes, they do. They're really nice fish. There's the Latin, if you wanted to know the Latin. So we've got another empty bag just in for st st stability. Um, who have we got here? Oh, we've got little um, Harlequin Rasboras. I like them ones. Who else we got in the box? Oh, these are the nice tetras. Really nice tetras. Oh. Runny noses, I think. Yeah, their noses aren't very runny though. Lovely fish though. So these are all the fish we've had. Are the runny noses, the harlequin rasporas, the lamp eyes, cardinal tetras, head and tail like tetras, which are really nice. And we've got the hatchet fish, which I like. Ooh. So those are the little certain add up ones that I would have got in that last order, just to fill it up, the usual nice filler fish go really well. Notice, no guppies! <laughs> we 
acclimatising all the fish now to the temperature, so we can open up the food, the um, the uh, what's it called? Plants. We open up the plants, get them in while they're warming up, and then by the time we've done the plants, they'll be warm. We can cut the bags, get them dipping, and we can release the fish. Hopefully before the reptiles come. Just want to be on the board today. Come on, we want some nice plants. Come on, baby. I don't see what the point of that is. Got loads of nice plants, so what I'm gonna have to do <clears throat> put them all in here. I've got a lot of them pre labeled up from last time, so I can just put them down in their place they were before, and then uh, we can carry on like that. So I'm just gonna slowly go through them all. Uh, do, 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 do. We haven't got absolutely loads, but we've got a reasonable amount to keep us going, which is nice. I think I'm missing quite a bit though, I really do. Well then lads, you have to move over for us so we can make room. We'll get the old one out, get the old one out. Ooh. Just go in there. Do -do -do. So now we get to open these and plonk them in. Not everything I ordered, I'm assuming some of the stuff was out of stock. So, uh, got these bad boys there. <clears throat> we got a couple of the Anubis with, on the on the wood at the bottom. And uh, that's about, you, all, last time I filled all three. But this time I've just filled that one and a little bit in that one, so. Not the end of the world, but we now we can go around and do all the fish. But you won't believe what's just turned up. So we'll have a look at him now. Well, there's two of them, so we'll have a look. And, uh, woo! So what have we got? What have we got in this tub? What have we got in this tub, eh? We got two red foot tortoises. Hello, my darling. Hello. Hello. We got a little boy and we got a little girl. So they're gonna come and spend their time life with me. And then the, the rescued beardy we had is gonna go with the lady who, who had these. So doing a little swapsies, bearded dragon, for two red foot tortoises and she's having a little bit of equipment as well. So, uh, how's you doing? How's you doing? You wanna come home with me and make some babies? Is that what you wanna do? You wanna come home with me and make some babies? Hey, hey. So have a look at your little boy. There he is. Hello, mate. How are you doing, sir? We can raise tortoises. We can raise tortoises. So, Hello darling, hello, hello, look how big you are, look how big you are, you're such a big girl, yes you are. Hello, hello, how are you, eh? You're a lovely little girl, that's a little big girl, you're a lovely big girl, yes you are, oh yes. He loves getting head scratches, he loves getting head scratches, yes. So we're going to come home with me. So we're going to have to look after them today, we've got to keep them sprayed and keep them damp because they don't like being wet, dry, sorry. So we've got to keep them nice and humid, nice and damp, and then um, they're going to come home with me at the end of the day. So we've got to keep them nice and warm, it's warm in the shop anyway, so we get away with that. Um, just got to keep them a little bit humid, and um, they've got a little bit of food in there, and I might let them walk around for a bit and stuff like that. Tortoises! <laughs> so um, now we've got to do the acclimating, and the dipping of the fish, then we can release them all, then maybe towards the end of the day we can turn the light off. Then we've got an animal order. Woo! More animals! So what I'm doing is I'm making them a little bigger pen so while they're here today. So uh, I thought I'd use the big poly box, it's nice and solid, nice tall sides. 
I've got a nice bit of um, tea towel in the bottom. I'm just going to spray the tea towel, get it really damp, and should keep them nice and humid and that for the, the rest of the day. God, I need to pump it a bit more. That's better. Maybe if I turn the knobs a bit. There we go, nice and wet. There we go. So we do we do ladies first, ladies first, you know what it's like. Gotta keep the ladies happy. And then we've got Mr. Looks like they're drying out a bit on the shelves. So we give them a little spray. Keep them nice and moist. <coughs> Joke, you need a bit of pear. You got your pear. We'll put your pear in there for you. And then I'll get a water bowl for them as well. I'll put some water in. And uh, yeah, they should be okay. If I see any, if it's, there's anything cool they're doing or anything like that, we'll film it and then we'll, uh, we'll take them home today. As soon as I put them in there, massive big poo. We got animals. So let's open the box, see what we've got. I think Meg's going to be a bit disappointed. I think she was looking forward to seeing all the new animals, but I don't know. <gasps> oh my god! I think I've spent a little bit too much money on that snake. It's too nice. So we'll have a look at this one. Oh no, we've got them. We've got them. We've got them. don't want to spoil it, do we? So. It's a little baby! It's an ankle baby. So we've got an ankle baby tortoise. He's a little bit smaller than Sir Diggs or not. We'll have to think of a little mini name for him. Like Littlefoot. Hello Littlefoot. Should we call you Littlefoot, shall we? Because you've got a very little foot. Yes. I think we're going to name him Littlefoot. If anyone's got a better idea for a name, put it in the comments. If it's really good, I'll change it. But I like Littlefoot. Off that dinosaur movie. So... What do we have here? Oh! We got another chameleon! We got another chameleon! That's really cool. I'm happy with that. So we're gonna have another. We'll have two chameleons in the sh in the shop, and then we've got this bad boy. Are you ready? Da -da -da -da. Look how stunning that snake is. He's a van vanilla spider. What a stunning snake! So the spider gene can be um, a little bit of not the best gene so um, what they've been doing is you don't get you very rarely get pure spiders anymore because they uh, they get a head wobble they um, they can stargaze so literally they just stare at the sky for ages um, and they get they unbalance their head so you turn them upside down and they still won't realize they're upside down but I've got to answer the phone we've got our chameleon how you doing buddy? He looks a little bit dirty, he needs a bath. You need a bath sir, yes you do. So we're going to put him in this one, I've got to turn all the lights on, but we're going to plonk him in, I can turn the lights on. Hello mate. Want to come out? He's a big fat boy. He's a dirty boy. What you been doing? Oh, I don't know, eh? We need to give you a bath. Yes, we do. So, here you go, buddy. We'll put you in. I'm going to go turn your lights on, yeah? Off you go, mate. And we'll give you a spray in a bit to give you a wash. Here you am, little buddy. 
You ready to go in your tank? Here you go, you have a rummage round. You wanna have a look? So there's your food. You can have a munch. There you go, mate. We'll leave you to it. He's a good lad. We've got the last one. Look how stunning that snake is. So we're gonna get him out. So we've got to make sure that all the tape is off the tub. So I'm gonna do it with two hands because I don't wanna stress out the snake. Okay, so we're ready. Hello, darling. Can I get the box off without you getting this scare? There we go. Can we touch you? You're nice. You're a nice snake. Are you? He wants to bring the tissue with him. Look how lovely that is. What a stunning snake. So it's a vanilla spider. How stunning is she? Want to go in your tank, darling? Want to go in your tank? Oh, that was a bit... You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay, darling? You okay? She's been a little bit weird. So we just put her in the hide. Show her where the heck the hide is, and she should go straight in. No, go in the hide, darling. In the hide. There you go. Tip, tip your head down. In the hide. Come on. You silly snake. Wanna go to the hide? See? Come on, in the hide, darling. You wanna go in the hide? There we go. There's a good girl, straight in the hide. That's what we wanted. Oh, Meg's gonna be jealous about the snake. I mean, she's out and about as well. You out and about, me darling? She's having an explore, she is. Having a little explore. She's gonna be a little bit nervous and stuff at first, but uh, we'll soon get her settled down and she'll be all right. Well, I'd come check on the Redfoots and you should see what the one's done. He, he had tipped over, but you didn't know what he's rolled in. He's done his poo since I've left. That's all you've done and she's rolled straight in it. You've rolled in poo, my darling. You have, you've got a pooey back. I don't know, eh? I don't know, you mucky buggers. Oh, so we want to get all this out as well. We can't leave some poo. What are you doing to my tea towel? What are you doing to me tea towel? It was fine before you had it. It was absolutely fine. I don't know. So we've got most of the poo out. We just need it. Look at the state of it. So you need to do, oh, I don't know whether to put another towel down or uh, just give him a bath when I get home. Because you're just going to poo more, aren't you? Really. So I might give him another little spray as well so it looks like they're drying out. And uh, look at the state of it. Ah! So we've got everybody in. Everybody's settled now. So we're just leaving them alone, letting them get used to everything. So now I think we should get some coral into this bad boy. <laughs> so... Uh, We'll pick some nice bits out and we'll try and maybe get that little bit of pulse and zenia off. And uh, we'll pick some nice spots for to put it in the tank. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. So we need to get this coral out. Oh. And we want the coral to stay dangling that way. There we go, so we've got to be very quick now. So the idea is we've got to try and get this bit of rock to break off. So I've got my chisels and stuff. So hopefully we'll give it a tap and a bang and see if we can get it to come off. There we go. We've got a nice little frag. There we go, perfect little frag. So I'll put that there for 30 seconds. We put this back in. Nice and quick. Oh, it's going blue, it's going blue. And then this bad boy, you can come with me. <coughs> so we've got to open this up. 
Open it up. Come on, tank. There we go. Come on, mate. Loosen up. Get off the rock. There we go, look at that. So that'll sit there now and that'll grow slowly. <coughs> and we want some of the other ones as well. With these ones, oh, that one there. That bad boy right there, I think. That's only a tiny little piece of it though, isn't it? Um, we do this one. And then we can always add more in, can't we? So normally, you would acclimate your corals. But these ones are, aren't as sensitive. So we can just plonk them in in places. And then, uh, fingers crossed, they'll be okay, is the idea. So we're just going to try some little pieces. And then um, we can always add some other stuff further on down the line. So I think we'll leave that for now. Well, see these, it's all got Aptasia on it. There we go, little coral slowly opening up and coming out. This one still needs a little bit more time. It's opened up a little bit. Yeah, they've opened up a little bit. Oh, hello clowns, hello, hello, hello. So look at that, I'm happy with that. We've got a couple of corals in there. Maybe do a couple more tomorrow, see how we get on, see what these look like. Um, oh, there's our shrimpy. Hello, Mr. Shrimp. So I think that's all we've got time for today. So I'm gonna say goodbye in a sec. Okay then everybody, so that's all my little job's done, everything finished. We got the fish in, we got the animals in, we had our to new tortoises come. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, comment and share. If you want to watch another video, it should be a box there. If you want to watch a playlist, it should be up there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, it should be up there. Um, I'll see you in the future. Bye.